today is Friday the 8th of December. I'm back here at the hospital. At a meeting today with the oncologist. Hi, I'm Mandy and I'm one of the two frugal travellers along with my husband Lee. Now in July 2023, at the age of 53, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. This is a story of my journey to wellness. I think it's going to be the proper oncologist last time. It was a locum who was incredibly helpful, really cool. But it'll be good to meet with the, the proper oncologist and like have a chat with him, see how things are going. Um, there have been a few like effects from the tamoxifen lately. Like I'd read about hot flushes, hot flashes as they say in the States, but um, I'd never experienced them before. So it turns out at 53, I hadn't actually gone through menopause because what I've been having over the past month, like just this intense wave of heat, you know, so that has been interesting. Not, oh, it's not too bad, but it's not great. And also I've been getting like tingling in my fingers and toes and in my lip. So I thought it was chili oil, but then I was just like with the lip, but then I worked out, you know, maybe it's a side effect from top of tamoxifen. So it's going to be good to like have a chat with them, see how I'm going. Um, I'm actually flying off to New Zealand on Monday to spend Christmas with my parents. That'll be really cool. So I just need to work out like prescriptions and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll report back to you afterwards. So I'm here at the cancer centre and as you can see, I'm wearing a mask. I think there's been like a, an outbreak of new COVID or something and so we have to wear masks in certain areas again. So, oh well, they supply them at the doors, that's okay. The centre there because it's coming up to Christmas. Yeah, so I've just come to the oncologist to let them know they've got actually had an ultrasound first at 9.15. My oncologist says at 10 because I actually discovered a lump on my right breast. It looks to be benign, it's round, it's smooth, it's mobile. Apparently that's all symptoms of benign. But fingers crossed, but like I've got an ultrasound to check and then race back here to see the oncologist. That's gonna be quite busy. That's why I got here it's super early. It's not even 8.30 yet, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, I let them know that I'm here and willing and waiting to be seen. So as you can see, I'm in another dashing gown. A bit like a Japanese chef. Got my bag and ready for the ultrasound. So I just saw the oncologist. It was just like really cool. It was lovely to chat to her and, and find out certain things. Like I mentioned the tingling and she said well, that's not normally a side effect of tamoxifen. So maybe I've got it in my head, I don't know, because of like neuropathy from chemo, which I didn't even have. But yeah, I'll just have to work through that. Um, so they basically want to keep me on tamoxifen for the first year. The blood test came back that I was menopausal. And so, I don't know, we'll, just, we'll see how that goes. So yes, yeah, so they keep me on tamoxifen for a year and then they'll switch me to an aromatase inhibitor. That, that is the plan anyway. Uh, the next appointment I have will be in May. So that'll be good for a checkup, etc. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know, like once again, blown away by the amazing treatment that they have here in, in Australia. Like I'm truly blessed, I know I am. Incredibly fortunate. And like uh, all of the doctors and nurses and registrars and the volunteers who bring tea and coffee and things like that, you know, it's just, it's amazing. Like it says inside, you're not allowed to take photographs or video or anything, or like of patients and staff. That's why like I've seen other um, people's videos on their, um, the journey that they've had through like cancer etc and they've had you know chatted to doctors and things but it's something that's not allowed here in Australia so that's why you don't see anything really inside the hospital apart from a surreptitious shot of me you know what I mean in my dashing purple gown but um yeah I'm just I'm just so happy to say that it's yep the 8th of December I've had the ultrasound I've had the visit with the oncologist and it's all really 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 good you know lots of positive thinking lots of um, good healthy food and listening to my body um, doing so much research as well and you know like I've been reading some amazing books and I've listened to some incredible podcasts with some brilliant videos I'll, I'll do a video about all of that at some stage if, if you'd like to see it you know let me know please in the comments below and um, yeah just sending you all the very best wishes like from Perth Australia I hope this finds you all well and if you're going through this you're going through this 
sorry, I'm not, I'm not upset for me, I'm upset for you. Um, if you're going through this, be strong, you know? Um, give in to, like, to, to fears and, and depression and, and all of that sort of stuff. Like, briefly, get it out, vent. But don't keep it bottled up inside, because for our bodies to heal themselves, we need to be in a really, really good state of mind. We need to know that we can beat this. We need to know we can get through it. I know I'm going to live to 100. I know every single fiber of my being. My body is a wellness making machine. Marissa Pia, Halal Rod, he visualized every single day. And he beat like stage four. I can't remember what type of cancer he had, but it was terrible. And he beat it, you know? And it's Chris, Chris beats cancer. So I've gone and told you some of the people I've been following anyway more on them later but we can do this you know we're in it together and we can do it I'm so proud of you I'm there for you and I wish you all the very 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 best from the bottom of my heart one of my favorite uh, like websites or email things is Oz Bargain for all you people in Australia and I've got a great one today it's from Mad Max you see it there free vegan taco Sounds like me, you get to sign up, become a member, great. Here it is, my free vegan Mexicali. Um, it has, I think like mung beans or some sort of mints and tomato. I asked for jalapenos and they came free of charge, which was lovely lettuce. He actually asked me if I wanted cheese and I was like, you know, it's a vegan one. But yeah, and I'm gonna try some of the sauces as well. So yay. Our regular viewers will get a laugh out of this, um, especially Leslie Fletcher ones for you. I've got my first ever wheelie suitcase, $16 from Salvo's. It's going to go to New Zealand for the delicious vegan, well, okay, uh, whole food plant-based forward stuff, because uh, I'm not too sure what they've got over there, because I wasn't a vegan or, you know, plant-based person when I used to live in New Zealand. So anyway, my $16 wheelie suitcase, oh, it's going to be so cool. Really enjoyed our time in the Philippines. I mean, the loveliest people. Oh my word, they're always happy and smiling and singing like all the time. So, so cool. One thing I really struggled with, like, you know, on a journey to wellness was the food. I mean, we love Toro Toro places and I did find some great uh, vegetarian and vegan dishes like the mongo, like the mung beans, etc. But it's so good to be back in Perth to eat this sort of delicious food. Homemade beans down on the bottom and brown rice. Got coleslaw with beetroot and broccoli and avocado, nutritional yeast on top. You can eat so well if you're going whole food plant forward. One of the things I absolutely love about Australia is the wildlife. And here in Perth, oh, you get such brilliant cockatoos. I'm not too sure what these ones are called. As you can see, they are so enjoying their breakfast here on the shrub. Wow, so lovely. It's actually been quite quiet at the moment, which is really good. So until the next video, bye for now. Love you loads.